Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Homebrew Wednesday. You would have seen the other week I did a um, pumpkin brown ale and I have since um, spiced it up a little bit with some allspice which contains cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice funnily enough um, and I think a bit of nutmeg as well so give it a bit of a, a Christmassy feel as well. And now it's time to do a bit of dry hopping. I'm going to use some first gold hops. Never used them before so quite excited about giving them a, giving them a whirl. Um, dry hopping, there are probably a gazillion and one ways to do it. Everyone has their own techniques and um, I have my way of doing it and I'm going to show you how I do it right now. See you in a sec guys and girls of course. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, this week's guest um, pointing implement is a meat fork, which you put in your meat and give it a carve, like your Sunday joints, ideal for roast beef, roast lamb, and also for pointing at your videos when you're at a camera shot. Right, we got first gold hops, which is, oh, yeah, everything you see has been um, sanitised, etc., so it's nice and clean. We've got a measuring jug in there, I've got 25 grams of beautiful first gold uh, hops. This came from a 2013 harvest, um, alpha acidity on them is 9.04%. And in this little jug here I have a um, hop sock bag, there you go, that again can be sanitised. little bag of marbles, all will be revealed, and a cable tie. Right, first thing I'll do is... Hello? Get my hop sock bag and put it over the top of the measuring jug like thus. Uh, excuse the age of the sock, but it is nice and clean and has been relegated for probably the last time use. So here we go, everything in there, some bits and bobs left over, but I'll give that a, a scoop out off camera. Come back in a second and we'll carry on. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, all in the sock at the moment. These hops are absolutely fantastic. Um, a bit like East Kent Goldings but with a bit of a twang to it so um, can't wait to use them. Now, next thing is, you saw this earlier on, this cable tie. Oh, there she is. Again, being sanitised, my hands are nice and clean. Put it through the top of the, oh, where are we? Through the top of the cable loop and just pop that around the hops give it you know, probably about halfway down just giving it room because obviously they will expand when they start to soak up water etc so just give it a bit of a tight but leave, leave maybe an inch gap at the moment and my next trick without sounding like a magician got a bag of marbles again being sanitised etc now you can see that bit dangling above that black cable tie there I put that, oh, it's probably not a very good angle at the moment, but we'll, hopefully you'll see what I mean in a second. Can you see that? Okay. In between the gap in the cable tie, I've got the hop sock and also the top of the marble bag. Now, if I tighten that up like thus, oh, it then turns into a bit of a barrage balloon. Can you see that? So we've got our hop sock and our marbles. Now when I put this into the FV, into, into my bucket, the marbles will sink to the bottom and rest on the bottom in amongst all of the, the yeast cake etc. And the hops will float up like that. So you should get a bit more disbursement of the hop aroma into the wort. Now next thing is I'm going to pop this in the bucket. I'll show you that as well. I'll be back in a second. Thank you. Hi everyone, welcome back. Well that's the pumpkin ale. Um, I've done a quick gravity check on it as well and according to my calculations it's come out at 4.2% ABV so at the moment that's pretty much bob on of what I was expecting. It might add a couple of uh, fractions of a point on of course with carbonation etc. But what we do now is, I'll just, oh, there is the hop sock bomb as it were and holding on to the end of the cable tie like this. Ooh, bear with me, I'm doing this by hand with my iPad. So we put that in there like so, get that towards ooh, towards the middle and then just let go. And as you can see the marbles have sunk to the bottom 
and the hops are floating towards the top. Oh, job's are good, and I think. And um, as we say on all good films and uh, TV shows, let's head back to the studio. Well, welcome back to the studio. Well, the kitchen anyway. And that is how I dry hop. As I say, there's probably a gazillion one other ways of doing it. I'm sure everyone's got their own little techniques, little tricks. But that's the way I do it, and it works for me. And until the day that one goes completely and utterly pear-shaped, I'll continue to do it that way. Um, just to quickly finish off on a bargain beer I picked up uh, from Shepherd Neem. This was 99 English pence from supermarket chain. Little, gotta love Little, keeps all the riffraffs out of Aldi. And that cost me 99 English pence, 3.8% ABV. And I will do a review at some point on the sister show Thursday, Thursday. As always, thanks very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. I think at point of filming, I'm on 208 subscriptions, which is fantastic. So thank you all very, very much. Um, I will look forward to seeing your vids go up over the course of the next few days. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and as always, be seeing you.